What is up everybody, Nick Costa here and welcome to video one on the inverted double series. During this video we will go over playing inverted doubles to help you improve your double stroke roll. And then finally a couple ideas to improve your vocabulary playing inverted doubles around the drum set. I am really excited to dive into this with all of you, so let's get started. So let's talk about that inverted double for a second. When we break drumming down to its simplest form, us drummers are playing combinations of singles or doubles. When we play double strokes, a lot of the time our primary stroke, or the first one out of the two, is usually louder than the other, unless you've been practicing this a lot. So when you're alternating between playing rights and lefts, you'll hear right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. By practicing inverted doubles, we're now making that dominant the second note of the double strokes, so it'll sound more even and consistent. Right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, or left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. So what we want to do first is let's go ahead and play an inverted double as 16th notes on the snare drum or on a practice pad. We're going to take it nice and slow, playing it at 60 BPM. All right, now that we have it down, what I would like you to do is up your metronome only by five BPM each time you wanna play faster. This will give yourself enough time to make sure you're getting it down correctly so you can play it at a faster tempo. Here's what this exercise now sounds like at 95 BPM. And here's the pattern at 120 BPM. Okay, now that we have that down, the next exercise we are going to be alternating between playing a measure of double strokes and then a measure of inverted double strokes. What happens with this, however, is that when we get to the third measure, we then start the pattern with the opposite hand we started with on beat one. If we were to start with our right hand, we would play right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, then the invert, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Now notice measure three, we're starting with the left hand. Left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. Of course, if you were to start with your left hand, it would just reverse the entire pattern. We're gonna go ahead and set our metronome to 60 BPM and give it a shot. And here's what it sounds like at 95 BPM. And 
And finally, here's what the exercise sounds like at 120 BPM. So again, we wanna make sure it's nice and consistent and nice and even as we progressively get faster throughout the exercise. Now these two exercises you can play on either your drum set on your snare drum or on a practice pad, and it helps improve your double strokes in general. Now that we have that down and we feel comfortable enough with it, let's bring it over to the drum set and work on some vocabulary. What we're going to do is we are going to play a basic rock groove for three measures, and then that fourth measure, we're gonna play that inverted double pattern just on the snare drum, 16th notes for an entire measure. We're gonna set that click to 60 BPM and give it a shot. Now that you have it down, like everything else, up it by five clicks and slowly get faster and faster. Here's what it sounds like at 95 BPM. And finally, here's what it sounds like at 120 BPM. Now that we have that down, let's expand it a bit. We're gonna now play our basic rock groove for two measures and play the inverted double stroke for two measures, still only on the snare drum. Let's set our click to 60 BPM, give it a shot.
Now that we have it down, you guessed it, like everything else, five click increments each time you get it down, slowly get faster. Here's what it sounds like at 95 BPM. And finally, here's what it sounds like at 120 BPM. Great, now that we have it in context with a groove, we have more than just a snare drum on our drum set. So let's start moving our inverted doubles around the kit. All right, so now to expand our vocabulary, what we're going to do with variation number one is we're gonna play 16th notes for an entire measure. The pattern of those 16th notes are three on the snare drum, four on the rack tom, four on the floor tom, four on the snare drum, and then one left over on the floor tom. So if we are to start with our right hand, it goes right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Now if we were to start with our left hand, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. So to start out, we'll play our basic rock groove for three measures, and then we'll play that fill pattern for the fourth measure. Let's set our click to 60 BPM and give it a shot. And just like with everything else we've been working on so far, once you get it down, up your metronome by 5 BPM, try it again. Here's what it sounds like at 95 BPM. And finally, here's what it sounds like at 120 BPM.
Now that you have it down, let's go ahead and play a basic rock groove for two measures and then play that pattern for two measures. We will now play right, left, left, right, 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 right, left, left, right. That's if we were to start with our right hand. Of course, if you start with your left hand, left, right, right, left, 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 left, right, right, left. A lot, right? So let's go ahead and set our click to 60 BPM, two measures of a basic rock groove, two measures of that fill. Here's what it sounds like at 95 BPM. Finally, here's what it sounds like at 120 BPM. All right, so let's work on variation number two. So with this pattern, we're moving the right hand around the kit. It will go like this. Right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Well, let's do that one more time. It goes right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. We're gonna go back to playing a basic rock groove for three measures with the fill for the fourth measure. Let's go ahead and set that click to 60 BPM and give it a shot.
Here's what it sounds like at 95 BPM. And finally, here's what it sounds like at 120. All right, we got one measure down. Let's now make it two measures. So now we'll play the basic rock groove for two measures, play the fill for two measures. Again, we'll set our click to 60 BPM, give it a shot. And now here's what it sounds like at 95 BPM. And finally, here's what it sounds like at 120 BPM. And there you have it. There are some basic ways to work on playing your inverted doubles around the kit to improve your vocabulary. Go ahead and experiment with this. Figure out other ways that you can play your inverted doubles around the kit. Although we've only been talking about our hands, don't forget about the feet. You can start incorporating that as well. So instead of it being right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, replace your right hand with kick drum. So you could play kick left left kick kick left left kick kick left left kick kick left left kick 
or you can do combinations and variations of it. Any different pattern you can think of. Experiment with it. Take it slow at first, get it down, feel comfortable with it, and then start upping those tempos. If you come up with any cool patterns or variations, I would love to hear from you with what you came up with. Shoot a video, send me an email, write it out in notation, whatever you want to do, send it to me. I'd love to see it and see what you're working on. And that is it for video number one. I really hope you got some information out of this. Go and practice, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.